he's playing Diddy. Yeah. Yeah, I remember a Luigi and Fox. No, Twan was definitely always Mario. Always Mario? Yeah. I don't know why I remember. Uh, anyway, it's been a while since we've seen them, so we'll, yeah. uh, we'll see what the boys can do. Uh, Adam and Gronk, no slouches. Uh, yeah, these two, they did pretty good too. I think they knocked us, they knocked myself and Lamb out of, what was it, Indie Sprite? I can't remember. Come on with a good string on uh, on Gronk there. Oh, oh my goodness. My good, that's Converts it into the forward what air. What percent was he at there? Like 74, Ouch. roughly. Well, good catch, Ooh, though. There. Yep, there we Adamant go. Adamant rallying back pretty quick. Yep. Keep that morale up. Nice conversions uh, out of the up tilt. Gronk having a hard time getting his feet on the ground, as is often the common problem with Rob and doubles. Yeah, he's a big boy. Rob Not really wants box. help from his teammate, but almost oh, converts it almost. into a beat boot. Yeah, another one. Another one will do her. Catch the gyro right out of the air. Adam been putting a lot of damage on. Still on his first 75%, so he's doing well. Stalls his recovery. Oh, almost dies to the Diddy Barrels, the though. Barrel. And there goes Drake. So Adamant stalling best as he can while his partner respawns. Gets the uh, landing zone cleared, figuratively speaking. Oh, a little slow in the up smash out of shield. Oh, it's running up smash. It's a good move, and Mario likes to use it. The pressure. There we go, getting the Mario out, right out of his face. So, the thing I'm really noticing here is uh, they're doing their best to bully Gronk as often as possible. Yeah, that's that's fair. He's, he's, much, he's definitely the easier one to pin down. So, Adam's going to kind of run interference on that and kick him out of his business. If it's a 1v1, Gronk can just, like, space him out. Okay, what do they have? Small Mario combo. Down smash punish. Spawn at 160. We'll uh, see if they can finish him off soon. Uh, Drake just barely surviving at 137. Another late nair. Not gonna do it yet. It's fairly likely that Drake is gonna have to share here hmm. uh, from Adamant, which is gonna put them in a tough spot because then, like, he can't make Adamant fight the 1v2 on his own. Yeah. But it's fairly likely he's going to end up in the 1v2. Back throw. This is still pretty close, as long as Blue Team stay alive. Yeah, but easily go either way. There we go. Adamant's on his last. There's nothing for Drake to oh, take. Oh, he gets caught by the up smash, so. Adamant looking for the, uh, the cheesy kill. So now, this is still doable, but it, gosh dang, it's tough. Fox is not great in 1v2. Yeah. Just because his disadvantage state is not very good. Yeah. Can't really rely on those like long strings to rack up damage. Looking for the pressure. Yeah. Okay. Nice forward throw. Gets the uh, hitbox there to knock away Twan. No. Good. In the air. Burn his jump. Goes back to the okay. ledge. Getting out of that situation. Yeah. If he can net the kills, then it's just a straight 1v1. Uh, although he's at disadvantage percent, mind you. Yeah. It's certainly still possible. Oh, that could have been uh, a kill. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Jumps out. Oh, yeah. Okay, now that, ooh, yeah, jump right out of that. Ain't nobody got time for landing no. on Mario. No. Oh, he got yeeted. Oh. That's some gross of the eye. He died at like 100 to that. <laughs> So, yeah. 
I've been trying to sell them on Xbox all morning. Okay, so we're heading to Town City. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well for him. Yeah, he kind of got sucked into it there. All right, just doing what Rob does, floating on the edge of it, just throwing stuff in. Yeah, they've got a piece of ping pong going. Credit where it's due, uh, Adamant's recovery has been really good so far this season. Yeah, it's uh, been so good at seeing. He has not been being bullied hard off stage as sometimes happens to him. In the oh! Oh no! Ooh! I uh. uh what about what about off stages and Adam? I I may have cursed him. Um, I commentators cursed him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought it couldn't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, everyone will die very soon. Yeah. There we go. Anyway. Uh, so percent's pretty high on everybody, honestly, except Adamant, of course. Yeah, but, yeah. And there's the kill on Diddy Kong. There we go. That Town Mario. City pick coming in for them. Yeah, Mario looking for another one. Back throw, but he was a little too far to catch the up smash anyway, and got interrupted by Twan regardless. Okay, can they get off this? Nice damage, that's about 40 damage. Gyro disrupting things a little bit. Nice little up air there. I find the big issue with Robin doubles is he really only contributes damage uh, mm. unless his teammate can set him up. Yeah. Oh, oh, hard no. calls the roll. At 150, that's not the worst way to die, but yeah. you still don't want to get red like that. It makes no. you feel bad. Okay. Adamant looking to convert here. Nice damage. Yeah. Floating those nares out, keeping that hitbox going. They've got Swan in the vortex. Oh, nice grab. Drake getting back out, back to the ledge. Had a chance to punish Groovy there, but I think was paying a little more attention to what Twan was doing. Just landing in with the back airs. Adamant finds the kill on Groovy, so this is a stock lead for blue team. Oh, nice Ooh. back air. Non-ironically nice back air. <laughs> yep, it just was. Sometimes it is. Yeah. Oh, there goes Adamant. Uh, so this is pretty even still. Oh, good conversion with the laser. Disrupting there. Yeah. Drake's doing really well, just staying back. He's at high percent, yeah. but they're not even touching him. He's holding his stock very well. Up What's throw. that off the top no. platform? Nothing yet. At a percent, so. They're trying to find this great ki Drake kill. The divide. So this has definitely worked out a lot better for blue team. Yeah. A uh, little too close for the confirm, or too far away rather. Uh, how does Mario get out of this situation? If he doesn't, oh well. Oh. And there he goes. Good I, punish. I was worried that Adam ran in a little too soon there. Rob's head was very close. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was all right. Yeah. Going to game three. I would say this would probably be considered an upset uh, if Adam and Drake win this. Not, not a big one, but a little bit. Yeah, that's fair. Damn. Wow. So uh, off stream, uh, Lysith and Sleepy Eyes, two old snowman and Moju, one of the... Uh, one of the picks to be in potentially finals of this tournament. Yeah. So maybe an hour in, gosh, someone's dang. already upset. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what blue team can do here on Lilac Cruise. Uh, unlike some regions, these guys should be at least relatively comfortable on this stage because I make them play on it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, I mean, imagine Rob doesn't mind Lilac. No. Well, he. Uh, it, it kind of disrupts his projectiles a little bit, but yeah. he, he can like he can still bounce things with angles and that yeah. kind of thing. He can work with it more than some other projectiles can. Yeah. Nice pickup. And if I recall correctly, Fox is kind of iffy on this one. 
Uh, I've talked to Frey about his opinion on this stage, and what he tells me is that it's simultaneously Fox's best and worst stage at the same time. Yeah. Uh, because the platform orientation is absolutely great for Fox. Uh, but uh, if he has to recover mm. with Lilat ledges, it can be very difficult for him. Yeah. Uh, Twan with an excellent empty, uh, empty jump F smash there, catching Adamant off guard. Up smash, takes out Groovy. Uh, so slightly blue team. They're thirsty for that Rob right now. As they should be. Yeah. Uh, beating Rob up was what won them game one. Yeah. Uh, and failing to beat Rob up lost them game two. So, honestly, I'm not seeing as many capes on those projectiles as I thought I would. Maybe just doesn't favor it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't seen him use it much. Oh. But does catch him with the back part of up smash. Mario likes to lean back. <laughs> Caught him right with the tip of that head. All right, nice. What do we got? Yeah. Sandwich in between them, but no one's really doing anything significant as of yet. Yeah, Rob's just kind of getting chipped away at here. Yeah. One coming back in. Find his way back to the ground. Can he get something? I kind yeah, of expected got, him to go for a there. Nice cover. And we caught in the middle. Fawn off stage. Adamant expecting Drake to cover the roll in there, but was a little slow in the reaction. Oh no, Ooh, we side beat into the Rob down smash. Ooh, if that had been an up smash, he would have died. Yeah. But so Mario this going is, for the up smash. It's still pretty even. Slightly blue team. Yeah. What can Twan get on Drake here? Not sure what he was looking so, for on that cape. Uh, maybe he wouldn't have died from the up smash. I don't know how much charge was on that. Nice nares coming out from Drake. Ooh. Ooh. Gyro out holding some stage position, making it so Twan can't quite reposition how he wants. Yeah, again, trying to land in that Mario. Not the easiest thing in the world. Laser coming in and breaking that up. Did he kill Groovy? Yes, he can. There's the up air. Oh, this is big damage. Twan just jumping out, going to the ledge. Yeah. Smart. Didn't Very, want yeah. to uh, get caught without his partner. No. He's still pretty fresh and like to keep it that way. Rob at 168. Still living, though. Adamant buying him some time. Okay. Oh, risky down smash. Does Ooh. get away with it, though. Adam and covering. Oh, this is... Drake still holding on. Yeah, That's gonna Fortier do does it. take it. Okay, so this is this is now close, and it's in a dangerous position where if Adam and dies, then Dronk has to one... Uh, Dronk. <laughs> Drake. Oh, my goodness. Drake has to 1v2. Two great tastes to taste great together, eh? Taste great together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what I was saying was, if Adam and dies, then Robin 1v2 is not great. Uh, uh, yeah, no, he's just, he's a big boy and he's just gonna get, he's gonna get pushed around. But Adamant doing his best to stay near Drake and have him do the heavy lifting. As he is a robot designed for menial labor. Actually, yeah. he's an NES peripheral, but that's besides the point. Yeah, but one of his games, all he did was lift. Oh, and nice conversion by Adamant. Ooh. So that, that puts things pretty solidly in blue team's favor, though if he dies, yeah. might be an issue. Oh, Tex into the gyro and picks it up. Got a banana. Can he get going? Has to make Got a big here. play here. Yeah. Needs to get the momentum started. That's all it's going to take. That shield's looking a little low. Uh oh, know how I feel about this. Yeah, this is this is spooky. Yep. It's a volatile oh, situation. Oh, wow. Ooh. He phantom hit the up oh. smash. There it oh, goes. There though. it goes. Yep. Did he dash tack a little Ooh. too laggy for that? They had to work for that one, goodness. Yeah, that was close. Uh, very close set between those two teams. Uh, Adam and Drake pull it out, but Groovy and Tron, Tuan certainly made them work for it. Uh, I think the big difference there was uh, Adam and Drake came together and uh, they were covering Drake a lot better in 